Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up multiple USB microphones and using them in GarageBand. This is actually really really handy if you have a podcast and you have more than one person and you want to set up multiple microphones and have one for each. I'm on a podcast myself and this is the method we always use. I've seen a lot of videos in the past that are quite complicated. If you just want a simple click and go sort of method and just record, I think this is the easiest way that you can do it. So what you need to do is that you need to go on your audio MIDI setup. Now I've got mine in my dock here, you could probably do a search for it in your search bar or it'll be in your utilities folder in the Mac. So what you need to do is get that up and then click on plus here and you need to create an aggregate device. Now this will be your main source of input of all the microphones you need. So you click on that, create aggregate device and then it comes up with a selection of microphones that you have. I only have two microphones at the moment, so I'll be using those two. I've got the Rode NT-USB and the Samsung Go mic. If you had um, three or maybe even four microphones, it would come up with that, and you just select them as you go. So you select the one microphone, the Rode NT-USB, and the Samsung Go mic. It's got um, blue ticks by here, and I think that's drift correction. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I usually tick them anyway, and I haven't had any problems since when ticking them, so... It's up to you, you can tick them or untick them, entirely your choice. And if you were to have more microphones, you click select, select, select. I only have done up to three, whether it goes beyond that, I'm not sure, but I can't imagine it um, having any issues. But hey, I don't know. You have to try that yourself. So, that's all set up. What you need to do now is close that down. Okay, and then you need to go on GarageBand. Mine's in my other space by there. Nope, that's not it, it's in here. Okay, so you click on GarageBand, and it comes up with a selection by here. You need to go on Voice. So you make sure you highlight Voice, and then you choose that. And you just wait for it to load up. Here it is. And here's all your GarageBand by here. Okay, so we click on the time, because I don't like beats, and uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, make sure you go on the GarageBand and Preferences and you want your input device to be the aggregate device, which is the device we just created in the audio MIDI setup. Okay, and your output device, I normally set it to the Mac speakers, but if you have headphones, you can put it into your microphone or any other output device that you have. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we click that. So all these uh, vocal microphones here, we're gonna have to delete these, just get rid of them. Okay and then it will ask you to add more input devices. So we have the microphone by here, that's the main thing we need, particularly if you're doing a podcast. So, it's got the inputs by here, but you want the double one. So you want input one and two, and input three and four. That should be the Rode mic, and that should be the Samsung Go mic. If you had a third or fourth mic, it would be five and six, seven and eight. So we'll do that one by there, and we create. There it is by there, so we'll just click Double click that and write road for it. And then we add the other device, which is three and four. Create that. And we do Samson. So we know which microphone is which, and if they're all registering, which it seems like they are. So the important thing to do to make sure that they're both running at the same time when recording your podcast or anything else is you need to click on track track header, and then show record enable button. So you click on that, and you probably notice with the tracks then, these two record enable buttons have turned up. So you need to click on them, and again with any other microphones you click on it and, uh, until they're all highlighted and flashing like that. And that should be fine, you are good to go. You just click record, and just testing right now, and you see both waveforms on two separate mics. Now I've normally been um, asked uh, sometimes microphones don't work well with others, so if I had two Rode mics they wouldn't work together. I haven't tried it personally, but I have read a lot of comments sometimes that this does happen. And sometimes microphones don't play well with others, so if you even had a Samsung Go mic and then a Samsung Yeti, sometimes they don't work. I'm not sure why, but um, it could be a software thing, but that is beyond my control. But the Rode and the Samsung seem to work quite well together. So we stop that by there, and then you can go back and 
have a listen to make sure it's all good and see if it's all synced up. It looks pretty good to me. And then I would um, advise you just to save that project instantly so you don't lose the tracks because sometimes, you know, Max can be a bit temperamental with that stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the box below and I'll try and get back to you. But for now, good luck.